Good morning. It's Friday the, what's the date? Um, 21st. The 21st. God, my tripod's falling apart at the seams. Um, we're Spot City again today. And this one is so bad that it's making my eye, like the corner of my eye really itchy, so that's really annoying. Um, we don't actually have anything planned again today, but we're gonna see where the wind takes us. We forgot to order on the shop last night, so we are gonna go on a hunt for toilet roll. Um, we actually did the shop last night because Oval had a really late sleep, so we wanted to tire her out and it actually really worked. She went to sleep as soon as we got in. Um, she's just playing with her toys. My mum gave us a huge box of building bricks and she absolutely loves them. They're like her favourite toy at the moment. Um, I've also had like a reshuffle of the front room, which I'll show you later. Um, but I'm literally just sitting down with a coffee. Tristan has a tea. Good thing we're wearing underwear now. <laughs> He's just come out of the shower. Um, and I'm going to get something to eat in about half an hour. But I do need to make Tristan's breakfast. So I'll do that in a second. But I just want to sit down. <gasps> <That's re> <gasps> Did you hear that, Opal? That's rude, isn't it? Um, I just want to sit down and have my coffee for a minute and relax. Should we relax? Tristan's breakfast complete. Although I know someone who would rather be eating it right now. Maybe Daddy will give you a bite? No. Oh, she want pancakes? She wants the whole thing, ladies and gents. Do you want some pancakes? Yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. You want a bite? I think that's a good sign. I agree. Better? More? Would you like some more? <laughs> hey. Are they alright? Yeah. Yum. You may think I'm back in the same spot and I am. I saw my camera. Um, but we are getting ready to go out for a walk. Done my bike. And I now still have one workout to do. But it took me ages to get into grips of my new Apple Watch. And I ended up picking the wrong workout for the first 10 minutes and realising. And then picking the right workout. But it was missing the first 10 minutes. Um, I messed it up, but anyway, um, yeah. Mommy? Yeah? Mommy. Yeah? What's about me? You want me to talk about you? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go out for a walk, but it's really, really windy, um, but Tristan's adamant that he's not driving, so we're gonna be swept in the wind. So I put on some woolly clothes and I'm wearing my baggy jeans um, for comfort mommy, and warmth. I did that for me. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so yeah. I keep just I keep tapping myself in the head, I'm not sure why I keep doing that, but it's hurting my head. Um I really wanted to edit my video while I was exercising, but I forgot to download it onto my editing software so I couldn't edit it, so that's annoying. Um, also need to have a chat. Sorry, the cat's clawing something, I don't know what she's clawing. Um, I have come off of my contraceptive pill because, like I was saying, I was having some really bad, really, really bad symptoms. Um, and it's proving ages to get my hospital letter in the post to have an internal scan. So I um, have made the decision to like 
basically do a process of elimination because they were going to tell me to come off it anyway um so that's what i've done off my own back i had another phone call with the doctors and they were literally like there's nothing else we can do we just need to wait for the scan it was a really annoying phone call actually but yeah i've made the decision to come off of it because i can't go on any other form of birth control other than we found out about the copper coil but um personally i don't want to go on it and they don't really recommend it for me um but i could have gone on it in the sense that it doesn't have hormones and it wouldn't mess with my issues up here and down there so who knows and i was also feeling really depressed actually i was not myself i was crying all the time angry i was really angry um and i think this is like it's been a week where i've come off of it and i feel so much better already in myself um which is good but obviously i really Mommy. yeah are you watching chip and potato um obviously i, I don't want to get pregnant so we are practicing a safe set you won't see the pull out method in this apartment like i can guarantee it i'm too scared to even like even thinking about having another child literally freaks me out so no um but yeah so we just have to be extra extra careful now because of the pill not being in my system which is fine like it, it is just how it is um but i i i was so frightened to come off of the pill even though i was experiencing all those really bad side effects because i really like don't want to don't want to be pregnant so i obviously have some trauma that i need to deal with but yeah i didn't um i was scared but i definitely definitely made the right decision for me um it's just a shame because if i was if i didn't have any other complications i literally could have tried a different form of birth control um but i can't so that's annoying <laughs> um so that was just a little update no longer on birth control and i'm actually feeling so much better within myself in like different areas of my health whether it be my bowels my mental health my ovaries like i just feel very more relaxed actually um and in less pain so that's going well so i'm glad i did it it's just a scary time to be alive for me right now um are you okay but yeah so yeah that's an update i'm off contraception practicing safe sex which i would recommend if you don't want a baby to still have safe sex if you're not on birth control and yeah but the doctor's appointment on the phone was really traumatic he didn't read my file and then after i said because he basically said well why don't we just try another form of birth control to regulate your heavy bleeding which one i think is really really bad we should not as a health have, as a health service they should not be offering contraception to girls to regulate their period we need to be finding out the reason why the periods aren't regular or why they're too heavy or why they're too painful. We shouldn't just be sugarcoating it, like you have a pill and whatever. We need to be finding out the reason why that's happening. And it really annoyed me that he even suggested that. And then secondly, if he had bothered to re read my file, I can't go on any other form of contraception. So after I told him that, he then looked at my file and went, yes, you're right. I shouldn't have said that. And I'm like, <sighs> like what was the point i wish he had have read my file before um because then it was a really long and then he accused me of not taking the pill consistently and that's why i was experiencing all this all these symptoms and I, when i tell you i've taken my pill like clockwork i have a, three reminders on my phone i've never once missed a pill and um, i think the only time i've ever taken it late was half an hour late and that's because i went swimming and that was once other than that clockwork i'm too scared to get pregnant so that was annoying and i kind of i didn't tell him off i was like you have no idea what i'm going through i literally take oh. took it every day oh, wow. for a good year and a half like this you should like he has no idea so i was just like, oh my god he obviously thought i was someone that was quite relaxed in taking it but i'm not like um and then he obviously he read up then he, he was literally reading my file whilst on the phone to me so he was obviously rushed for time and then he was just like oh yes i can see you've got this problem with your ovaries you had this this is the result of your laparoscopy and it was just like i just wish he had read my file before even speaking to me because 
I was, he was telling me to do something, then I was explaining why I can't, and then he was reading and was like, yes, I remember what you said five minutes ago, it does match up with your, f and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Although, do you remember that ages ago when a doctor told me I was severely anemic and if I didn't sort it out with diet she was going to give me um, heavy supplements to take? Apparently I'm not anemic, which is really weird. So I now need to go for blood tests because he was like confused because it wasn't like the only medical thing that I mentioned wasn't on my file was that I was anemic. So I was like, right, okay, which isn't the worst because he knew about my cysts, my endometriosis. He knew about all of that once he read my file, but apparently there's no anemia on that. So I have to go for a repeat. Oh, that reminds me, I need to book my blood test. I need to go for a repeat blood test to see if I have anemia or not because it's not on my file. So I don't know what's gone on there. <laughs> but the other doctor said I was after my blood tests. So I mean, I'm not really changed anything dietary wise anyway because I hate green vegetables, don't eat too much red meat. But, so I haven't done anything to change my lifestyle, but who knows? Maybe it's miraculously disappeared, but we'll find out soon and if I even had it in the first place. Mmm, that smells dirt. It does smell very earthy, earthy. doesn't it? <laughs> Ketchup literally looks fluorescent, but I'm so excited to eat this dinner. Mmm, fluorescent. Look. Wow. Is that nice? Mmm. She does have a, a spoon. And she loves dipping things in bean sauce. Beans are her absolute favourite. So I'm finally sat editing that video I was meant to edit while I was exercising um but as we know didn't pan out that way um but yeah just editing it is about 10 20 to 11 actually got really late actually god um and I thought it'd be a good time to sign off because for a few of my vlogs, especially on the holiday vlogs, I realised I just really did not sign off and that's really annoying because I like to sign off my videos and, you know, have, make them have an end, like they have a beginning. That's just me having a bit of, um, my neuro CD. But yeah, um, it's been an active day, actually. Um, I've realised I'm slightly obsessed with the activity setting on the Apple Watch. Obviously it's new, isn't it? So it's all a bit exciting. And I think I've gotten a bit, um, I've gotten a bit over the top in a negative way, not in a positive way. Like I set myself a goal that I knew would be difficult to achieve and a bit ridiculous, but I have achieved it, which means I've done more than I usually would. And I've been on a really good track of like, keep every keeping everything um, I don't even know what's the word. Healthy is one of the words I'm looking for, but like just keeping everything at a normal pace and not going ridiculous. Um, I'm not going to disclose what the goal, what the highest, can't even speak, what I'm not going to disclose what point that goal reached and it's now lowered. Um, to something which I hope is a bit more achievable but yeah naughty me um, but I realised it Tristan also realised it and we just had a conversation well I know that needs to come down That's that goal is way too high and you will burn yourself out and that's not healthy so yeah basically more of the story is I've overcome an issue already with the Apple Watch at the moment anyway um but yeah it's been an active day and um, we got um some fresh air opal's asleep oh my god i have like look at this spot right this spot here i keep getting them on my nose and it's ugly and it's atrocious um and it's so big it's really irritating this eye um 
but if I do like this you can't really see it so if I just film from this angle this there's not that friend <laughs> yeah that's shockingly bad um, and I have been suffering with like really bad spots especially in my nose and they're really big and bulbous and gross um, it's not okay really so yeah I am gonna finish editing if my cat will allow me to what on earth is that a piece of cardboard from the boxes from the Apple Watches. What is wrong with you, Sush? Honestly, it's like having another child. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this day in life. I'm going to get on with my editing and then actually get some sleep because I'm absolutely shattered. Tristan's playing COD if you don't know where Tristan is. He's playing COD, so he's abandoned me for the night. It's just me and Sush, and Sush is attacking me, so it's going to be a fun night. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.